to our channel. Today's topic is about Tridoshas. The entire universe as well as the body is made up of five elements. These elements are earth, water, fire, wind, space. All these five elements are called as Panchabhutas. By this, we can know that the structural aspect of our body is made up of five, these five elements. But the functional aspect of the human body is governed by three biological humors called as tridoshas. The three humors or tridoshas are vata, pitta, kapha. Tridoshas and their relativity with the nine planets. Vata constitute space and air. Saturn, Mercury, Rahu are the relative planets. Pitta constitute fire and water. Sun, Mars, Jupiter are the relative planets. Kapha constitute water and earth. Moon, Venus, Ketu are the relative planets. Their rules psychobiological and psychopathological changes in the body of a person. Vata, Pitta, Kapha are present in every cell, tissue and organ. In every person they differ in permutations and combinations. Bodily Vata, Pitta, Kapha changes according to diet, lifestyle and emotions. According to Ayurveda, five elements and three doshas. Vata, Pitta, Kapha. A relative planets Kuja, Sukra, Buddha, Seni, Guru, Chandra. Doshas in relation with body parts. According to Ayurveda, the science of life says that the sole requirement for healing oneself and others is a clear understanding of the doshas. The balance among these life forces or humors is essential for proper health. Any imbalance among the tridoshas causes a state of unhealthiness or disease. Vata regulates movement and is represented by the nervous system. Pitta is the principle of biotransformation and is the cause of all metabolic process in the body. Kapha is the principle of cohesion and functions through the body fluids. In every person, these three doshas differ in permutations and combinations and thereby psych physiologic constitution, that is, body prakriti, of an individual is different. So the unique combinations of vata, pitta and kapha in each individual express the predominance of their different qualities that is called as gunas. For every human being there are three gunas called as three gunas. They are sattvika guna, rajasika guna, tamasika guna. State of mind or three gunas. Sattvic, Rajasic, Tamasic regarding to Vata, Pitta, Kapha. The qualities of a, the persons can be decided according to this Vata, Pitta, Kapha constitutions 
with the uh, related to this uh, gunas, sattvic, rajasic and tamasic. Scientifically, it was proved that the three components called as sattva, raja, tama. Sattva, purity of knowledge, it is called as sattvic. Sattvic men lives in service of society with no expectation of recognition or reward or any ulterior motive. Raja, action and passion, Rajasikar. Rajasik man lives more for personal gain and achievement. Tama, ignorance and inertia, Tamsik. Tamsik man has no problem about stepping on others toes to get ahead or home in society. All these uh, Trigunos represents uh, three gods. It is called as Trimurti. Vishnu, Brahma, Siva. Vishnu represents Sattvika, Rajasika represents Brahma, Tamasika represents Siva. About Vata, Vata means the airy humor. The qualities of Vata are dry, light, cold, mobile, active, clear, astringent and it is dispersing. Types of Vata, Prana Vata govern the senses, creative thinking, reasoning, enthusiasm. Udhanavata governs quality of voice, memory, movements of thoughts. Samanavata governs movement of food through digestive tract. Apanavata, elimination of waste, sexual function, menstrual cycle. Vyanavata governs blood flow, heart rhythm, perspiration, sense of touch. You can see in this picture it is called as Vyanavata, Vyana Vayu, Udana Vayu, Prana Vayu, Samana Vayu, Apana Vayu. Vata governs breathing, blinking of eyelids and movements in the muscles and tissues pulsations in the heart, all expansion and contraction, the movement of cytoplasm and the cell membranes and the movement of the single impulses in our cells. Vata also governs much feelings and emotions as fairness, nervousness, fear, anxiety, pain, etc. The primary location of the vata in the body is the colon. It also resides in the hips, thighs, ears, bones, large intestine, pelvic cavity and skin. If the body develops an excess of vata, it will accumulate in these areas. The imbalance of vata causes when you experience symptoms such as worries, overactive mind, sleep problems, difficulty in breathing, dry coughs, sore throats, ear aches, general fatigue, slow and rapid digestion, gas, intestinal cramps, poor assimilation, weak tissues, menstrual problems, Lower back pain, diarrhea, constipation, 
dry or rough skin, nervousness, poor bread flow, stress related problems, there is a good possibility that you are suffering from vata imbalance. To balance vata, what we had to do is abhyangana snana means daily ayurvedic massage with the same oil. Early bedtimes, lots of rest and sleep. Reduce light, dry, cold, pungent, bitter and astringent foods. Avoid raw foods, juices, fasting. Take warm and cooked foods. That is less raw foods. If you are Basic constitution is mixed. That means vata, pitta, or vata, kapha. It includes proportions for the second influential dosha. Vata dosha is aggravated and increases during achom and early winter. During these seasons, All mind-body types can include some of the above foods and decrease others. This will say in a picture later. Mental and emotional peace and constructive life cycle routines, life cycle routines are important to restoring and maintaining balance. You can see this in this picture, vata imbalance diet, fruits and vegetables, fruits to eat more, fruits to avoid, vegetables to eat more, vegetables to eat to avoid. This is the end of the part 1. Hope you like this video. Part 2 will be coming soon. Stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you. If you appreciate our work, then like our, like our video and support us to enlighten your lives through astrology. Subscribe us. Thank you.